The new Russell House offers 12 new dining locations and a higher quality of food, but is it worth having to wait in a much longer line? Located at the heart of campus, the University of South Carolina's Russell House welcomes thousands of guests each week. Over this past summer, USC and Aramark, the company that owns Carolina Food Company, invested in a $9.5 million renovation that completely changed the layout of the union's grand marketplace. The renovation included the addition of new restaurants. The brands that we've selected are you know, very popular with the students. And includes more space for students to enjoy their meals. We were able to add additional seating mm -hmm. about... Yeah, it's about 250 additional uh, seats. And with the new restaurants, there are more options than ever, with the ability to customize your orders at most locations. Students are able to get things made with the ingredients they like. But with better food comes a much worse wait. We went to Russell House at lunchtime to ask students what they thought of the new layout. One thing they all agreed on, the lines. I'm used to the old Russell, and I believe it was much more functional uh, the way it used to be set up. New Russell House has better food. I mean, the old food would just wasn't quite as good as everything here. I mean, it's just the weight. It's all it is. It's the only issue with it. If I had like a small break, I would never go here. The lines aren't just due to slow service. Carolina Food Company says there are over 5,000 more transactions in Russell House every week compared to last year. Um, with us eliminating those those meal plan uh, meal zones, students just have the ability to use their meal plan when they want to. So um, we're seeing a lot more participation as well. After the initial wave of complaints, Carolina Dining released a statement saying they are, quote, diligently working to increase staffing and speed of service. What does that mean? Carolina Food Company has added more options to get in and out of Russell House faster, including Express Lane, where students can grab and go pre-made options, as well as integrating to Pingo at multiple locations. They've also hired and trained new employees. We have, you know, hired additional students to work in our locations. Um, so um, we have increased our staffing and all of the concepts within Russell House. Um, we've done some national brand training to increase <clears throat> efficiencies at Panera and Chick-fil-A, those um, locations that really get hit hard. Um. Due to those changes, they say lines are getting better and are not nearly as bad as the beginning of the semester. And looking at where we are today mm -hmm. um, in comparison to where we were the first week or two of school, it significantly has gotten significantly better and the lines are, are much more manageable. For those who've had to skip meals, hopefully that's the case. For SGTV News 4, I'm Spencer Buckler.